Christina with Bubblegum Paper and I'm here with a super interactive card. It's part of a design team collaboration between Chibitronics and My Favorite Things. And so most of the products I'm using were generously provided by both My Favorite Things and Chibitronics. It was awesome. I was allowed to go on a shopping spree and choose which products I wanted to use. So I have to say, even though they were provided to me, I definitely would use these um, even if I wasn't working on this project for them. So here is a close-up of the finished card, and let's get started. The products I'm using from My Favorite Things are the Sun Bunny Stamps and Dynamics, and the Inside and Out Stitched Ovals, and the Stitched Interactive Windows. From Chibitronics, I'm using the Chibi Lights LED Circuit Sticker Starter Kit, and I have another video that walks through the contents of the starter kit, so I'll link that here. So let me show you this interactive stitched window trio die. It basically has three windows and they're stitching around the whole thing, but only three sides of each window cut out. And the fourth side you put towards the top of the card, or in this case I put it towards the top of the card, and that way when the recipient receives it, they can just flip the windows open and see what's underneath. So it's kind of like an advent calendar. It's super, super cool. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a scrap piece of cardstock and I'm going to die cut it out of some craft paper, which is my scrap paper, and this wooden patterned paper. So when I cut it out, you can see there's all the windows. And the scrap paper I'm using just as a template, and then the wooden paper is what I'm going to use in the actual card. So I'm just trimming that down to size. Now for the stamps, I normally stamp first and then I die cut, but because these die cuts are solid, I'm not really good at figuring out where I need to place the die cut, and I would hate to go through all the stamping and coloring only to cut through the bunny. So instead what I did was I die cut all the pieces that I'm going to use first, and then I'm just using um, a stamp press or an acrylic block, and I'm just carefully stamping the images directly onto these die cuts. So it's almost reversed from what I normally do but it totally works for this stamp set. So right now I'm just laying out all of the different carrots. I think I used six carrots and a couple little birds and then some flowers and the balloons. So I'm just carefully stamping each of them and when it is kind of stamped off center, I replace that. And you can actually stamp it off center. It kind of provides an artistic effect to it. But for me in this card, I just wanted to try to center everything if possible. So here's the little um, chick, and I stamp that twice, and I reject one of them. And I do the same thing with this guy. I stamped him the first time, and I liked that one, and then I stamped him the second time, and I didn't like that one as much. So now I'm going to go in and stamp the little bow, and then two little flowers. And in the card itself, I'm going to have these flowers light up along with the balloon. For the Copic coloring, I'm doing some very basic Copic coloring. Right now I'm using three different shades of yellow-greens, and I'm not really blending out the leaves that much. I find that if you don't blend out the leaves and you just do some squiggling, it provides more dimension um, in the leaves, so it looks all bunchy and cool. Almost looks like kale. And then for the carrots, I'm going to blend this out. So I'm just doing some very simple shading here with three different shades of yellow reds. And I'm using these tweezers to hold the carrots down um, since I die cut this before I stamped it and colored it. For my bunny rabbit, I'm going with some a series of cool grays and I'm going to paint her dress um, pink as always and I don't color her entire dress so you'll see I leave the pockets white and that's because I realized later on that you don't actually see her entire dress so I saved myself some Copic coloring and then for the little two little chicks I'm going to color them in shades of yellow and then I'm going to go in and color all the accessories so I'm setting this to some music speeding it up and I'll be back soon I wanted to add some color to each of these windows, so I'm taking that template and marking off the edges of the three windows to give me a sense of where they sit. Then I'm using a combination of washi tape and post-it notes to really mark off the sections so I can ink blend each of the three windows separately. 
I'm using sponge sugar on the left and the right windows, and then I'll use tumbled glass in the center. And for the center window, I needed a second post-it note just to mask off that side section. But don't worry, I will reuse these post-it notes so they won't go to waste. After this is all done, I'm going to rip off the washi tape, and now I have the card. So once it's all ink blended, I am going to place all of the different characters and die cuts in the windows and figure out where I want everyone to go. So again, I'm using the craft paper as a guide just because I tend to play a lot and rip paper and um, I don't want to mess with the wood grain paper because that's the only piece I actually had. So I wanted to make sure I only use that when it's absolutely necessary and so that's why this craft paper is great. So once I have all of these characters placed exactly where I want them to be, I'm carefully lifting up that craft paper and using some adhesive tape runner to tape everyone in place. So I really think this is a fun, um, interactive card. Even just opening them up to see these characters is going to be so much fun. And now for the circuit, I'm going to punch holes where I want the lights to go. So I'm just marking that off with a pencil. And then I'm going to place a piece of paper underneath um, where I punched those holes. And I'm marking that down on this piece of A2 size cardstock as well. So here is the circuit part. So I'm just marking off where I want the battery to go. And then I'm going to draw a line that will be the positive side of my circuit sticker. And another line that will be the negative side of my circuit sticker. So I'm going to take a piece of scrap cardstock and I'm just taping it down to where that battery box was. And I'm marking one side as negative and one side as positive. And this is really a cheat guide for myself so I know where I want the positive and negative leads to be. And I'm taking some copper tape. This comes all in that Chibitronic starter kit that I showed earlier. So this tape is just like washi tape. You can rip it with your fingers and you can use it to draw these different circuit lines. So one half of the tape I will draw to the positive side of my battery holder. And then the other half I'm going to draw to the negative side of my battery holder. And now um, once all of these pieces are in place, I'm going to place one of the circuit stickers on. So each circuit sticker has a pointy side and a flat side. The pointy side is negative and the flat side is positive. So you just want to make sure you match those up. And then same with the battery. There's a positive side and a negative side to the battery. So you want to make sure those match up where you drew everything. So I'm just laying these stickers in and then testing them each time with the battery to make sure it lights up. And you want to hold the stickers down um, for like 10 or 20 seconds just to make sure that they connect with the copper tape. I was having some trouble with this center sticker, but once I held it down um, pretty tight, it, it stayed lit. Now I didn't get this next part on tape, but I basically took three layers of foam adhesive and I taped that all around the edges of the circuit. And you can lay foam adhesive on top of the copper tape and that won't affect the circuit whatsoever. I also built a little well for the battery to sit in so that it wouldn't slide out of place. Now I'm finally taking that wood paper and I'm figuring out what to do with the carrots. And I decided I was going to do, you know, the carrots in one, two, and three bunches. And it's almost like let's make a deal, like what's behind door number one, two, or three. I think the show is called let's make a deal. But anyways, or was it curtains? Anyways, what windows one, two, or three, which one are you going to open? For this sentiment, I'm using the My Favorite Things Tropical Teal Pigment Ink, and I'm just stamping Sun Bunny and then Sun's Smiles right underneath it. And this pigment ink is great. It's a little more, um, it sits on top of the paper, so it's a little more wet than dye ink, which soaks into the paper. And so I actually accidentally smudged that front. You can see it here. So I went back and I stamped another oval off camera so that the sentiment wouldn't be all smudged. I also took this teal ribbon that matches the ink and I'm using some really strong um, Suk Wang score tape and I'm just using that to hold the ribbon in place. I'm covering up the little um, pieces of wood or there's a darker, darker line on this wood that I just wanted to cover up. It's like the wood grain line. I thought it was too dark for the front of my card. So this ribbon fits across that perfectly. So once all of this ribbon is put in place, I'm going to have 
um, some super strong tape on the back of this panel. And now I'm going to just tape that over the front of the card. Now the camera actually died between that step and this next one, so I'm just going to tell you what I did when the camera was turned off. I basically took the carrots and I grouped them into one, two, and three bunches, and then I just taped them down to the front using regular adhesive tape runner. Then I took this extra strip of wood grain paper and I cut it about a half inch wide and I colored another carrot and just placed that right on the bottom. I wrote the words pull underneath so that way when the recipient gets it, they can pull on that tab and then it'll light up. And then for the oval sentiment tag, I felt like something was missing, so I'm punching two holes on either side, and I'm using these really fun flower brads from Doodlebug Design Inc. And I'm just putting the little pink flowers right on the edges, and then I'm using some foam adhesive to stamp the, to place the oval down. And here's the finished card. So the recipient will open window one, window two, window three, and then you can pull on the little carrot at the bottom, and it lights up. And that was so much fun, so I wanted to show it lighting up again, and again, and again. And I had so much fun, so I just repeated it a few times. Anyhow, here is the finished card. I show each of the windows opening up. And one thing you can do is when you mail this to someone, you can just give them directions on, on how the interactive card elements work. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you again, Chibitronics and My Favorite Things, for sharing the products with me. And here are two other projects I made recently featuring these Chibitronics LED light stickers. The one on the left was for Mother's Day and the one on the right were some goodie bags that I made in July. You can follow me at Bubblegum Paper or visit my blog at bubblegumpaper.com. Thanks again and catch you next time. Bye!